Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. Not being brought you a video for a few weeks, so I'd like to start wishing you all the best for the new year, even though it's February. Uh, but as I say, we'll start as we mean to go on. So here's a, this is our um, Tesla screen, uh, which is our THV 1974 model, which is an Android 12 8-core processor, 464 gig of RAM. Now, if you're familiar with our videos, uh, on our YouTube channels or further afield, then basically you'll know this isn't the Astra J. This is the Cascade, which is the convertible version of the Astra J. As you'll know the difference in the dash with this peak here, uh, where it just only comes in the Cascade. Obviously, the Astra J doesn't have this, but as you see, this one tucks. Let me just zoom in for you guys. This one tucks underneath there, nice and neat. So, as you can see, the finish on it there is all nice and neat and all clusters. Um, same size as the original system that's come out so I'll just give you a little rundown of what the system's got I mean as you say you might have seen our last day video but the purpose of this video is because we wanted to show customers with the Cascader uh, that obviously how it looks obviously this film is designated to use and use alone so as you can see this is the CarPlay application which is already pre uh, preloaded onto the system and um, comes at no extra cost and this is what this is all just all fully loaded up prior to the video just for the uh, keep things short for you so as you can see here's brought a lot of maps from my phone now this this particular app here carplay or the android also if you've got an android phone it won't bring over any movie streaming apps like youtube and netflix and stuff like that you can actually do that on the android settings which i'll show you in a moment but this is a good way of bringing over like your google maps and your ways and your apple maps um, your dab radio station app which is here um, but, nice way of bringing it over um as i say it doesn't do anything like youtube but if we just pretty much go back out to there so i'm not going to show you much on this but i'll just show you the system here let's go back to the car app one second this one here and i'll take it on to the android settings so this is the actual predominant force of the system which is an android 12 system at this time it may go off in the near future uh, but this is the latest version you can get in this industry. I know there's higher versions of Android on the phone, but you're not going to get any further than Android 12 as of February 2023. So it's all nice and up to date. Uh, you can get rid of that beep noise in the background if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it on and let the customer choose if you want that. Uh, there's all your applications here, which is basically starts off with your Navi, radio, apps, music, video. We have put uh, the Google Maps on this button here it is an online map so it does need a data connection with your phone or alternatively with the sim card this system's got a sim card holder which is obviously an extension cable which we've put into the glove box down there um, but as i say this is an online map so reasons being you're not getting any maps on here because it's got no data connection with the system but you can download many other maps of choice from the play store like Waze or whatever and put it onto that, that particular icon there just by going into the back end settings okay you got your radio works with your steering wheel controls as you can see and your seat buttons which is and just i'm going to be involved in the awards everybody going to be involved as well it works with your seat buttons and also if you press the src button which is the same as the seat button here but you press that in this will then change the mode and go through different modes of the system which are just really on the home page so let's go back to this here. Uh, there's some more icons here. There's your CarPlay app, which we showed you earlier on. This is your backend settings. This is your Bluetooth. That's if you didn't want to pay your phone through CarPlay or Android Auto. This is a browser, YouTube. Uh, let's go back to the applications. This one here. So there you go. There's the, a lot of applications which go into the center, which is behind the home page. Um, you'll find all your applications in there, plus any that you download from the Play Store. So I'll just show you how quick and responsive it is. Now, a lot of people tend to put on our post that you can get these from eBay from £150, but when we do the checks, you're only looking at four core, two and 16 gig of, of RAM, which is uh, pretty much not gonna be much uh, good to you, considering a lot of the applications today take memory up and uh, four core processors are a thing of the past, which are dead slow, but as you can see, nice and responsive here. We don't do lag, which a lot of people say, does the system lag? And I'm like, no, it doesn't. So it just shows you there that it's got no lag. Uh, you got your Play Store here, which needs a data connection. Again, SIM card or hotspot, so you can log into the Play Store if you wish. 
Uh, also, there's your touch assistance, which is this little button here, which is a bit annoying. You can't turn that off if you want. Radio settings, vehicle settings. Okay, so basically, you do get a lot of a lot of the car's computer information on here, which is basically used to be on the red screen that you're going to replace. Uh, and also, you can change on language settings and the original car setting, air condition information, stuff like that. So obviously, it does give you a lot of the computer car's computer information. Uh, these here also will work with the system. Sorry, I just go down there. Um, also, locking, you could probably hear the cars locking in the background. Uh, so, obviously, these still work with the system. Now, your air conditioning is still manual. So, the general consensus with when you're buying these Tesla screens is these if, you, if your air conditioning buttons get removed uh, to incorporate the large screen, then they become touchscreen. But the, if the buttons remain in the car, then it won't work on the system. So just just be mindful that when you're using the uh, these buttons here, air conditioning buttons, they basically you're just basically just doing them physically as you would normally, and obviously you just see so you can see the air temperature moving up and down. But obviously the touchscreen side to it do not work. They won't work with the system because the buttons still remain active. So even though it operates by showing the levels changing. And the temperature going up and down as you can see it will show on the system but you can't use the touch screen so that's that i think so obviously a nice little six and a half minute video there guys so hope it's uh, detailed enough to um give you a bit of an inkling to what the system holds and does uh, but if you've got any questions you give us a shout and we'd be quite happy to help and you have a nice day and take care i'll bring you another video soon bye bye